and welcome back to another Give It A Shot. And today, Jesus joins us again, and over there we got William, William Wallison. Yeah, and uh, normally we do a podcast all together, but uh, today we're going to do another beer review, because why? We have some fantastic beer, and we want to sh- we want to see if it's good, and then we'll share that information with you right now. Mm-hmm. Weird. Mm-hmm. All right, so William has the laptop open, and were we looking at Beer Advocate or one of the other guys? Yeah, uh, right now we're on Beer Advocate. I couldn't find the actual website for these people. Oh, so what is it called again? So Equinox du Printemps. Did you look which up, is did you, which is French for spring equinox. Did you look up that though? Oh, momentum. Well, the the, the thing above it, Brazier, oh. Brasserie, Brasserie. Was oh, that the company that? Ma- uh, that might be the company that. They do sell it. Brasserie Deus, Deus. Deus. <laughs> well, something oh, in French that I can't read uh, pronounce. I'm gonna take a deuce. I'm what? gonna go take a deuce. Okay. If you could find it, and then, uh, then we, we got the, 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 then we'll get the information about the beer right from the horse's mouth. Do you want to read that, Jesus? Yeah. Scotch ale. Yeah. Scotch ale is brewed with maple syrup. <clears throat> this scotch Ooh. ale is brewed with maple syrup. That's pretty good. I like yeah. maple syrup. That's one of the reasons why we grabbed the bottle. Oh, yeah. Suggesting oak and malt flavors with a hint of caramelized fruit. That sounds even better. Mm-hmm. The rich body envelops the mouth and enhances the maple flavor for a sweet yet balanced finish. And then it says some more information. Aging potential, yes. Brewed and bottled, bottled by Micro Bassetti de, I don't know how to say that in French. Mm-hmm. Imported by this guy named Sheldon Brothers Inc. And beyond that, it's, I mean, the alcohol volume is 9.1. What? Now, William was saying that they brew this uh, in uh, January, and uh, then and, yep. yeah, and then they wait uh, for a couple of months. Mm-hmm, two months. Yeah, and then then they release it. Well, the, uh, this on our bottle says that this came this What's came was available last year. Um, so uh, we missed it. It isn't only just four months old or whatever for us right now. Um, it's a year and like three months. <laughs> oh yeah. But uh, that, that doesn't mean it really got aged anymore, um, but uh, it's not as fresh as we were kind of thinking for a second. So I found the actual website. Oh, good. Which is the, uh, would you say, Shelton Brothers Incorporated? Yeah, which is the company that, I guess, distributes it. The radio show, the blog, the brothers, the booze. <laughs> I said those backwards, by the way. Oh. In order, it goes the booze, the brothers, the blog, the radio show. They have a radio show. <clears throat> it says alcohol by volume is eight. But on here it says 9.1. ABV. So we're off by 1.1%. And wow. I need to know yeah. if it is that one, because that 1.1% could be what gets me. Yeah. Really me too. So, <laughs> yeah. Cheese and rice. Oh. <laughs> you know, okay, here's the brewer's website. That was the wrong one. I gotta jump through so many hoops just to get to the table. Yeah. Well, it did is you want to show them the cap? I did. It oh, is did? an imported beer, so. Oh, is it? Yeah. So there it is. Yeah. Well, they have other ones. Ultra Mosaic. 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 Mosaic or something? It looks like. M-O-S-A-I-K-A. Yeah, it looks like a superhero <laughs> that looks like Robin. It does. <laughs> and. Yeah. I okay, so they, they make. They make oh, quite a bit. I didn't play more. Brand. Our history, yeah, they make a few things. Different, different beers. So they've been open since '95. Belgian, so Scotch ale, yeah. Scotch ale brewed with maple syrup. Mm. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's pop it open. <clears throat> we let, uh, had it in the refrigerator for I don't know how long. Uh, maybe half an hour. Half yeah. An hour. So it it was warm when we bought it. Yeah, I would, I would say it's around. 50 to 40 degrees. Mm-hmm. It might be just right. Yeah. There's a little steam coming out of mine, so the carbonation's still good, even though it's been sitting in a, on a shelf for a year. Yeah. So, yeah, no, mine's carbon carbonated pretty decent. I'm getting a pretty good head. How about you guys? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, a little too much for me. <laughs> what are you yeah. doing wrong? <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> I'm just so aggressive with my beer. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> that's, but you're going to get a really good aroma yeah. from that. Ooh. Oh, that's that nice. That smells good. Mm-hmm. So it, I'm, I'm getting kind of a um, uh, like a dried fruit smell. Yeah, and yep. And 
some of the bubbles, it's like um, when uh, Coca Cola, when you when it's bubbled like that, oh, and yeah, when, yeah, right yeah. when you pour it and you get a couple of little bubbles that hit your nose. Yeah. I got a couple when that happened. That's pretty good. So, age potential? Yes. That's that's what I was trying to figure out. Oh. What that meant. Does that mean that you could? You could probably age it. Age it, yeah. Well, that's cool. We don't really have a cellar to do that here. That'd be fun if we could yeah. do that, make a hobby out of some, yeah. buying some some really good beers and, and aging, uh, it. aging it yeah. for a little while and try it later. We'd All have right. to buy one of those refrigerator things. Yeah, they're special ones that, they're, that they make it uh, for we wine. wine in, yeah, but we'll, but we'll just put our beer in it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, does it hold it at a certain temperature, like something mm -hmm. weird, like 60? It just yeah. keeps it there, yeah. or yeah. maybe it's 50. Yeah. All right, well, I can't really detect any hops or anything weird to uh, to smell, just yeah. uh, what I got. All right, cheers, that's guys. A, that's a wicked looking look to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it does. It's, it's cloudy. Really dark. It's dark, but it has sort of a, uh, a ruby color. Look at that. Look at yeah. all the little little uh, white pieces or whatever that is, the brown pieces at the bottom. That's weird. So that's your, that's your, that would be the yeast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's probably why our, that's why it's ageable, because, um, there you go. Oh, you can see the camera at all. Because there's still nice, yeast in there, and then, nice uh, ruby the, color it'll still, it'll, it'll, yeah. it'll, it'll yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very it's ruby. Ruby, ruby color. Color. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right. Thumbs huh? up. And we're looking at it. Let's drink it. Oh, that's oh nice. Oh my God, that's really nice. That is a nice Ooh. Belgian flavor, Belgian style. Oh yeah. And it's not too heavy either. It's real. Yeah. Light. I don't know. To me, I get a like a complex. Um, yeah, co complex like. Like bready yeast, um, dried fruit, and a uh, little bit of that, uh, like like an aged, like it was aged in some barrels too. But I, they don't say that they were. But mm. no, it's just your your normal aging of beer. And I mean, it tastes like an aged mm -hmm. beer. So, what were these? These were like were these like four dollars per I think bottle? Five ninety nine. It was about five bucks a bottle. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> This is a delicious beer, guys. It is. It it, it has a, uh, a, a like a dried fruit flavor in it. Um, it it's sweet. I would say that it's got some sweet notes to it. It's mm -hmm. not bitter at, at all. I can taste the alcohol a little bit. It can kind of. Now that I've really agitated it, I can smell it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a. Uh, I think it's pretty well balanced. Very they volatile. Mm -hmm. They did a they did a fantastic job with it. I, I like mm. Belgian style beers, anyways. I actually can kind of smell the maple now when you when you stir it up. Oh yeah. Well, probably now that I'm kind of searching for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I get that. Oh yeah. Now see if I, now that I agitated it, I wonder if that helped. Mm. And I had some standards. If I could see if I could taste it. It, I think the sweetness. Yeah, that, a little bit. Maybe the sweetness to it is because of maple syrup. Mm -hmm. If they didn't add maple syrup, probably wouldn't be as sweet. It's hard to taste maple syrup when they got when it's a beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Out of that, I mean, I still give it a thumbs up. Yeah, it's tasty. It's a good beer. You should, you should try it if you got if you can spare the the, the cash. I mean, this is from is this American made? Yeah, Colorado. But it's no 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 but it's, no, but no, it's no, got it's, all the French it's stuff. French made. Yeah, it's so, French made. Oh, so it's imported. It's, it's imported by. That the, was our last one. That was called whatever Colorado. brothers. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so being it's, it's, it's something I've never had before, and it does come from from France. Yeah, uh, that's kind of cool, yeah. and I, I suppose that's why there's probably a dollar extra or yeah. two for why yeah. it's more expensive is because it com it's coming from somewhere else. It imports all. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, what I, what I, what I import bees and crap mm -hmm. like that. I don't know if I, I if I would, uh, pick it up again since I've had it. I think you should try it once. But there's a lot mm -hmm. of beers that are local that are going to that are going to taste as good. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, almost almost the yeah. same. Yeah. So I give I give it a thumbs up because it's tasty. Yeah. What, are you, what are you? Yeah. Same. But yeah, uh, like like we said, you, um, I've had beers like this before that mm -hmm. taste. Um, Silver City. That taste. Yeah. Pretty that's much a good, good one. Yeah, that's a good one. And uh, and you're not gonna pay that much money. No. If you're, well, if you're I sure. think you I think you still pay the, like the same amount. It's like six bucks, but you get uh, the a full bottle. Yeah. The full whatever. That's true. It's huge. Liter. Yeah, whatever, Twenty-two or whatever ounce. Whatever it is. Yeah. Instead of twelve ounce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's like seven hundred and fifty milliliters or something. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. So where this one's like three thirty-seven or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So, so eleven point five yeah. fluid ounces. 
So uh, we're glad that you guys could uh, to join us on this, this give it a shot. If you see this beer, um, you know, definitely try it. Uh, we, we've been discussing it, like uh, maybe the, the cost of it is a little bit high, but uh, if, you've got to, if you've got the money, give it a shot. Yeah. And, uh, and thank you for, for watching it. And uh, don't forget to go look down below in the description and we have uh, the mixed-in store where you can get this really cool mixed-in Stein. It's, it's cool. like 14 bucks in America for the, uh, the America price. And uh, it's really good quality and looks really good. And yeah. there's also t-shirts there and some stickers and posters and stuff like that. So knock yourself out. All the cool guys are doing it. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. We'll give it a shot. Later. <laughs> see you later. All the cool guys are doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Now I need to. <laughs> So, thank you for watching this episode of Give It a Shot. Hope you liked what you saw. Um, if you'd like to see more, click the like button down below. If you want to help support the channel, uh, click the Patreon page link right here. We'll get right here. If you don't want to miss anything, click the subscribe button right here. Do it. Come on. I know you want to. If you, if you do it, I'll, I'll, I'll strip for you. Oh, maybe. Okay, that's too gay. Sorry. <laughs> too much. Be sure to add a comment down below if you uh, have more beers in mind or if you have already tried this beer, you know, tell, tell us what you think. If you want a mixed in t-shirt, go ahead and click the link right here. This will take you to our, uh, our merch. Get some cool uh, t-shirts, maybe some underwear. We even have some ladies underwear. I don't... why not? <laughs> we have mixed in mugs, we have uh, mixed in t-shirts, and we also have some mixed in signs here. <laughs> mixed in gear <laughs> uh, there you go so give us a shot and see you next time